Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my Miscellany, where for me it is the next morning. Um, my husband got home from uh, his meeting, and then we ate, and then it was pretty much time to go to bed. We had stayed up late the night before, uh, from running around, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so I, but I did get the, the finish, uh, cutting up the strips. If you saw the last video, I had started to cut up just some strips from a magazine. I just picked out some images that were kind of colorful, not nothing, you know, terribly interesting or with that much thought. So there's that. And I think I showed you also my new glue book. Um, I didn't know it was going to be my glue, new glue book when I made it. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but it just makes sense. Um, it's just a very simple book that is made out of um, some painty papers that are basically uh, Reader's Digest, you know, books that from a book that I got it. Uh, pages, I mean. Did I say books? Yeah, I haven't finished my first cup of coffee yet. <laughs> and yeah, sorry about the nails. That's what happens. That's why I don't paint my nails. But anyway, um, so I'm going to just pick this first kind of blank page that doesn't have any paint on it. And I'm going to uh, start weaving the paper. So I just wanted to have one page like that in here to kind of have like a little record of it. And I'm just going to grab some papers. And what I like to do is first line up um, some papers next to each other like that. And I like this color here. And then the others are kind of, see this is upside down, which is great actually because... I think I'm going to do it purposely upside down like this because in the end you know actually whatever is written or whatever is there is not the important thing but just uh, you know different mixture of colors okay so it looks like I'm going to fit about six strips because I don't want to go off the page too much and this is a little bit too long at the bottom here if you look at it but that's okay we could trim that later Okay, so I just lay them out here first, and then I grab my first strip of the paper I'm going to weave, and then I just weave it like this. And of course, that's going to be too long at the end, and I can cut it. But, um, yeah, that's it. So the first one after just kind of positioning it uh, just right, I'm gonna glue down. And the reason I glued down the first one and not just the strips first is because if I had glued down the strips first, then I you know, couldn't lift this up. So that, you know, um, it's really every other paper that gets glued down first. You see what I mean? So, I'm just gonna grab this glue stick, which, by the way, this was an awesome deal at Big Lots. I think I got like twelve of these for like two fifty or something like that. Um, I did think I did a quick haul on that. So I'm just gonna hold my papers here like this, and I'm going to lift here, and I'm gonna glue. I guess I could have put the glue down like that, but I didn't. Like I said, I didn't want to glue the, you know, the, the vertical strips down necessarily. Um, or you know what, I am going to do that for the rest of it, and then just position them. So I'm just going to glue like that. All that worked for nothing, right? Not really, because I got it kind of laid out. Okay, now with the glue stick, you do have a little bit of time, not much. It, it does glue down pretty fast, but you do have a little bit of time to, so this goes down, that goes down. To reposition okay see I don't want to glue there no I do want to glue there no I don't <laughs> okay like that see once this first strip is down it'll be a little bit easier okay there we go straighten it out a little bit okay Oh, goodness. I don't know if I should even try to craft before my first cup of coffee is done. <laughs> okay. And then 
that one one two three four five and then the under one here there that's not bad nope what did I do because I had one every other one of these oh see what I did um, these were on the edge but that's okay I'll just grab another strip of this one okay now that my top strip see it's getting glued down already I just want to straighten it out oh that one got ripped under that's okay Bye. All right, so I got my top strip glued. I'm gonna glue these in, because these are not quite on top. Dee -dee 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 -dee, the top, glue that on top. That's glued down. This should be on top. Okay, and that's pretty much how I started. Um, I'm kind of rushing a wee bit, not a lot, and because um, yeah, it's you know in the morning. My son's getting ready for school. I usually don't get ready for work until after I've dropped him off at the bus stop. Okay, so now I've done my first strip. Uh, my first uh, row is glued down pretty well, and then I'm just going to weave. So see, I have one of these. I'm going to weave one of these. And yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, so this was on top, so this is going to be under. No, this over, okay. Over, under, over, under, over, under. That's pretty much all there is to it. And then, you know, these are the same length strips, so obviously I'm gonna have extra on the sides and I'll just cut it off later. So I just go up as close as I can get. I glued down a little bit. Uh, low there, but that's okay. See, I'm ripping it up a little bit. Okay. And that's it. That looks awkward there because, you know, it's going to get cut off there. But that's alright. Okay. Second row is weaved in. Try to straighten it out as best as possible. And then I'm going to glue so now the way I glue the next row, and see, in, since this is going to be in this book, it's actually not that important to glue every bit down. But if you're going to use it kind of uh, like a cover or something like that, like I did this, then you do need to make sure everything is glued down really well. Uh, but I'm, So I'm going to just show you how I do that. So I just, you know, lift up and glue down. Glue that. And then glue this, and I'm just putting like a little in the middle, and then lift up. You know what? How did I do this before? I think maybe I did just lift everything up and glue down. Yeah. Like that. I think that's what I did. I don't remember. But, you know, you just kind of work it um, as uh, as you go. Okay, now that bottom strip is glued down, but you got to make sure and glue down these top, top ones. That's down. That's down. You're pulling it on that. And that's down. And then, I mean, it goes pretty quick after that. Okay, next row. It's going to be one of these. So that was over, so now it's under. You know how to weave, right? That's all there is to it. You just go up and over and up and over. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna lift this up and glue down the row. Okay, glue down the row. I guess you're really gluing down the columns. And then this is going to get glued. See, this got glued down a little bit too far down. I'm going to reposition it, move it up a little bit. Move it up a little bit. There you go. Okay. 
You see, only part of it is getting glued down, the part that is exposed at the bottom. And then we just glue up the top bits. There we go. And just keep doing that. Isn't that fun? I, I mean, I don't know. I found it fun. And then, um, if you don't mind sticking with me here while I do this whole page, I want to layer it with the uh, napkin like I did with the other one that I'm using as a cover. Because I just like the look. Because, you know, this crazy weaving is, is great and all, but it's kind of like, shh, you know. Um, I like how the napkin tones it down. So I'm going to just, I'm pushing it up. Pushing it up. Then I'm lifting this up. There must be a better way to lift this up. Let's do this. Take my ruler. Lift it up like that. Oh yeah, I think that's a good idea. If I lift it up with my ruler, I can kind of go closer to the edge, I think. Let's see. Let's see if that works. I'm lifting them up. Ooh, look at that. Let's see if that works. Seems to be working. So now I can glue this down. This is nice and tight, hopefully, in there. And then bring it down. Okay, that worked pretty nicely. I mean, you know, again, you're just kind of working it. It's not like a perfect science. It's a craft. It's a play. It's a fun. <laughs> and there you go. Ah, so, I guess while I'm doing this, I'll chat a little bit because I've been kind of wanting to share a few things. Um, there's some things that I've kind of been recording clips of and... I have like a couple of videos that I need to edit because I just recorded little clips that I wanted to share with you, but I haven't had time to edit. And they're just, uh, you know, just uh, random things but um, that I wanted to share with you. So that's to come someday. <laughs> um, also, I've been working a couple of uh, challenges for a couple of channels that I'm not sharing because, you know, it's something I'm going to send them. So I want it to be somewhat of a surprise. Um, I did one little VR for Cat So Create, um, but I didn't really show everything. And then she said she didn't watch it anyway because she wants to be surprised, which is fine. Totally understand. But, um, you know, it it's like I got a lot of stuff going on. I got that for Cat So Create. I'm making um, Eileen Mack a little present, and it's just taking me a little while because, you know, I have to do it in bits here and there. But I got to get hopping on that because the deadlines are both May 17th. So I'm almost done with both of them, actually. I've been working, uh, you know, taking turns working on both of them little by little. Um, but again, I can't share those until after I have sent them and actually until I, after I know that they have received it because I want it to be a surprise, right? So see how I got a little bit off there. I think this was just not very straight, this strip of paper. I don't know if it's not cut straight or if it's not laid out straight, but oh, it's not the end of the world if I have a little bit showing there. Okay. Again, I'm not. Uh, if I wasn't filming, I might take a little bit, I might be a little bit more careful and take a little bit more time, but not much more. I mean, I like how it's working out with the ruler here. I think it's helping to keep it a little bit straighter, but you know, it's still not perfect. Um, there, straight. There's a little bit of room in between there. Yeah, I, I know I've gone awry there somewhere because it's not perfectly straight and I'm a little buckled here and there. But then again, it's all right. Ooh, I like how it's coming out. So if you didn't see the last video, I was saying that this is from a Sports Illustrated which magazine, which my, uh, my son got a subscription. You know when they offer you a free subscription and, and then they get you stuck with the bill after the subscription runs out. 
Well, they kind of did that to him, and I, I don't know if he's paying it, if it's coming out of his account or what, because we're not paying for it. But we're still getting it at the house. And, um, you know, I don't really read it. My husband looks at it maybe a little bit, but not, not really. And um, it's just a, a shame to waste the paper. <laughs> so I'm thinking I probably just need to call them and cancel it for him because he's not asking us for it. So, uh, but whatever, let's see. In the meantime... Why not use the paper? <laughs> Let's see how I'm doing on time here. Uh, 15 minutes, that's not too, too, too bad. And I'm almost down to the bottom. Okay. So again, I got this idea from my subby Lauren Hawaii and she had asked about what to do with magazine things and I made a little video about a couple of ideas I had what to do with magazine pages and then she sent me this happy mail and she's been doing amazing things with it like I got this idea from her uh, from stuff she sent me actually I think I have a folder she made me full of stuff right here yeah so in my happy mail she included also this folder see and it's magazine pages I believe that it's okay so she didn't weave it she just cut squares and shapes and painted on it and and then collaged and then put napkin on it and then like stamping it I mean it's really cool I mean she's done a lot of mixed media on it so I actually got the idea of uh, weaving from her even though I guess she didn't weave but to me it looked like weaving so I thought, oh, how cool, I'm going to need to weave some paper. And, uh, you know, that, that's how I got the idea, actually. I thought it was woven. <laughs> and I, I had actually, the thought had come across my mind before of weaving magazine pages, but I just hadn't done it until I saw that. So push it up as much as possible. There. Ooh, last row. Last row. Let's see if I have another one of those teal ones. If I don't, I should, but... Oh, because this is longer. That's right. So there's not going to be another one of the teal ones. I'll just do... I'll just do this, though. Okay. And this will be the end of it. And I'll just cut off the bottom. Which is going to be tricky since this is stuck inside a book. Maybe I should have thought of that ahead of time. <laughs> Again, the thought also crossed my mind. But just keep going. Alright, come on. Get under the ruler there. Or on the ruler, okay. So, yeah, I like this pushing it up with the ruler. It helps me to, you know, push it all up at the same time. What did I put in my glue stick? Okay, here it is. Yep. Alrighty. Ah! <laughs> it took it out. Okay, well, they kind of stayed in place. Okay, there you go. Alrighty, there. You know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been gluing in between, right? Did you notice that? I got chatty and I forgot to glue in between. That's okay, like I said, in this case, this is going to stay here. I suppose it's not that important that you glue in the middle here, these, these top flaps, but definitely the first row and the last row, you wanna glue it. Then the reason I said you want it to glue throughout is because now what I'm going to do, again, to tone down, tone, you know, the whole thing, is I'm going to uh, take a napkin and let's see if I have one here that I haven't taken the uh, backing off of yet. So I have some napkins here. Yeah, okay, like I have this napkin here that was also sent to me. Happy Meal, and it still has the backing on it. 
So I'm just going to take the backing off. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just put glue over the whole thing. I'm just going to glue it down with glue. Now, of course, you can do it with Mod Podge, which will probably be better. I just don't feel like grabbing the Mod Podge right now. So I'm going to just glue it. Now, the glue stick does dry kind of quick, so I need to hurry up. But... We'll see what happens. I don't remember how I did it the other time. I'm pretty sure I just used glue stick. See, it's a little wrinkled. Not perfect, folks. Not perfect at all. Okay, I'm going to do half of it. No, I didn't even take the napkin apart yet. Okay. And I just do this. I know you can do the little tape thing. I can usually just wrinkle the corner and get it. Uh, without meant, you know. But of course, if I'm on camera, it's not going to work. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. Ah, awesome. Okay. I believe this is just a two -tip, so this should be it. Put that aside. And then just lay that on there. There, isn't that cool? I love it. I love, love, love it. Look at that. And then of course you can stamp on top of this or whatever, even paint or whatever. Okay, so this is as far as I got. There's no more glue down here. Let's keep gluing. Okay, as far as I got. Let's glue the rest of it. So what do you think? Have you done any uh, magazine? Well, really any paper, right? I'm just using magazine so that I can use up stuff that is just not getting used or read or, or what have you instead of tossing it. Now, eventually, honestly, I'm going to have to just uh, recycle a lot of my... I have too many magazines. So I'll probably take some to the resource depot because somebody else maybe can pick it up for their collage or whatever but um you know as much as i can use i'd like to use and I, this is a neat way to do it and i also like that i'm using this part of the napkin that gets um taken off of the what do you call it you know of the pretty napkins right all right so what i'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cut off this extra and I'm just gonna go so I'm gonna grab my book knock something over on my ruler turn it around and just cut down the the back and I am cutting a wee bit off of the actual book because again I haven't had all my coffee this morning <laughs> ah, okay there and now the bottom it's just a little awkward to hold the book like this that's okay okay oops Everything I had in the pockets just fell off. That's all right. You know what? I'm just going to lay it right on top for now. Okay. And then this is going to be the tricky one, the, the part that's inside, like on the, to the spine. But I'm just winging it. Uh, it's really only just an, oh no, I was going to say it's really only just a napkin, but it isn't. It's these. So I'm just going to try not to cut my page there. Yeah, if I just go right under the overhanging bits, it looks like I'm doing fine. Kind of pulling on the napkin a little bit. There. So let me get all these extra bits off. And I actually have a little bit on the top, which I shouldn't have if I had lined it up right. But let me go ahead and get that. 
Oh, I'm just gonna cut it. I feel like I'm cutting it behind my back, but it's just. <laughs> Again, it's just a little awkward because it's already on the book, you know? But it's not a big deal. Sorry, I had my hand in front of you, my arm in front of you. And there, there's my woven page. And see, it's a little bit, um, what do you call it, uh, not smooth or anything there. That's okay. I am okay with it. I'm just going to go ahead and um, kind of get closer in here and just stick, run some more glue glue stick down here to kind of just get everything glued down and you know what I can do too is I can put some pretty washi or something to kind of keep it down or maybe make like a border on it but yeah any little bits that are still sticking up just glue down and then like I said you can um, stamp on this or do whatever oh you know what actually um, how far are we it's uh, it's kind of a long video already it's like 26 minutes so i'm just gonna leave it like this for now because this is basically what i wanted to share for today let me know what you think i really like how it came out um i really like that i get to keep kind of like a sample of it in this my new glue book uh but as you can see you know this could if it wasn't inside the book here, you could then use it as a cover. You can use it to make tags, journaling cards, whatever. You know, just cover the back with plain paper or just leave it like that, whatever you want to do. And you can also stamp on top of it, which I probably will do that too. But not right now because um, I, I got to get started um, getting ready for work. And oh, see, I messed it up down here. Can you see what I'm messing up down here? I tried to go in and, and glue the napkin down and I kind of messed it up. Oh well. You can also stick another little piece of napkin on top if that happens. Kind of like repair it. I think you just put the glue on top. There you go. Repair little bits like that. Just be careful when you go rubbing it because of course the napkin is very thin and you know can easily break. But then you can patch it up. And then just let it dry. Let me not. Let me remember not to close the book. I need to let it dry now because <laughs> I have that bit there. Okay, thank you, friends, for joining me. I hope this was fun, even though it was a little rambly and chatty. Um, and you know, since I'm just recording on the YouTube app, I couldn't really um, speed it up for your stuff. But I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think. Are you gonna try it? What would you use a page like this for? Um, other than, let's see, I thought already, a journal cover, tags, um, journaling cards. What else? Let me know. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.